At mathandscience.com, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the crudely conceived idea of a power source that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. We call this new power supply the alpha encabulator. Now, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's instead produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The original prototype machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were connected in a direct line with a panometric fan. The latter consisting simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. Now the main winding was of the normal Lotus O Delta type, connected in panendermic semiboloid slots of the stator, with every seventh conductor being connected to a non-reversible tremie pipe to a differential girdle spring on the up end of the grammeter. Now the alpha encabulator has reached a high level of development and is currently successfully being used in the operation of Nova trunnions. Furthermore, if a fluorescent score motion is ever required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm in order to reduce sinusoidal replenition. It's not cheap, but I'm sure the government will buy it.